guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video i'm actually super excited to show this video to you guys i actually couldn't hold on any longer and i had to go ahead and decorate for christmas i've just been seeing all these youtubers decorate and all these posts on instagram and pinterest and i just i couldn't wait any longer you guys i really tried to hold out but i couldn't so I definitely wanted to bring you guys along in my little decorating journey. This video was filmed in like the course of a few days so you will see a couple outfit changes. But I did start over here in my coffee corner. You guys know that I love decorating this shelf that my husband made me. I know I usually get comments asking where I got this shelf and my husband did make it for me. He did make a DIY video on it so I'll go ahead and link it up here in the iCard. But this this is where I love starting just because it's such a focus point in my house and this is where I base off all my decor so I do go ahead and start here basically almost all the time if not my two tier tray which again is in the same area so same point this really ties my whole house together so this is where I like to start and I basically just put my Ray Dunn mugs um, the red ones down below and then the white with red interior and red writing up in the little cubbies up at top I put these two Frosted Christmas trees that I got from Hobby Lobby and these cute little plushies and my joy to the world sign I did go ahead and play with this a, a little bit after and I ended up changing a couple things But it mostly stayed the same and then I moved down to my two tier wooden tray again until this whole area is completely done I usually do tweak the things up at top and things down here and on the other side of the table because I want all of this to make sense and match so uh, you will see that I move things around a couple times before it's actually done and even after I filmed this video I ended up changing a couple things so decorating is always a process you guys and it always involves moving around and playing around with the items and things you place until you actually like it and yeah that's just exactly what i'm doing right now i just got all of these small items that i had and i kind of laid them out here and just played around with them until i got you know i got it to work how i wanted it to and even then again i played around with it more a few days later but I do show you guys ultimately what it ends up looking like a tip I do have for these two tier trays or three tier trays whatever you have is I had a lot of actual like tree ornaments that I used on this tray and I just think they're the perfect size and they're really easy to find Hobby Lobby has a bunch and all you have to do if you don't want the little like ornament um, like to hang it just cut it off I actually left mine on there I don't mind them at all and then here I am going to my basket to see if I can pull anything else out because I'm just having a hard time uh, decorating the other end of the table. So I needed to go through my bins of stuff. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. So I tried putting my canisters over here with the cute uh, like checkered bow but I ended up not liking it. I just, I don't know, it was something with the height of the containers and the other end of the table. It just wasn't making sense so I did end up moving those canisters up to another shelf but I did want to show you guys what my process is like and how many times I have to move things around because it doesn't 
it's not perfect the first time and i wanted to show you guys that i struggle too and that's completely fine that's the fun thing about decorating is just having fun and playing around with all your items and just messing with it until you get it figured out so um here i am i think this is ultimately what i ended up going i did just go ahead and switch them around you'll see in the following clip i decided to bring the two tier tray on this end and then i added some cute candy canes to that little cup right there but yeah that is basically what this side of my dining room ended up looking like So for my dining room table, I just started off by wiping everything down and making sure it was a nice and clean. And I did decide to keep this pretty simple, the decor on my table pretty simple because I wanted that wall over there to be the focus. So I just added this tree I got from Hobby Lobby last year and then this jar with like Puri, I think it's called. And that was basically it. This is how my dining room turned out. I really, really did like it. I ended up making a few changes but nothing major basically I just spray painted those lamps red and I actually really like how it tied it together but other than that you guys this is how my dining room turned out and I really did like it quick break because I wanted to show you guys how freaking messy my house is right now but this is what I have so far I have a huge mess over here in the living room and sorry for my like studio lights it's, it's so I could film but uh, yeah I have a big pile of trash that bag of bag of trash and then yeah it's a mess so I'm gonna get to cleaning this side of the house right now Okay, you guys, so as always, my focus here in my living room usually just falls back on my couches, and all I do is I change the pillows and I add some. I add usually a throw blanket, one or two. For Christmas, I did go ahead and add three throw blankets. You guys can see I have the like striped one back there. I have this red one over here that I'm folding right now. And then I have a cream one on the other edge of the couch. I just feel like throw blankets and throw pillows during Christmas make a house feel super cozy. And I think that's the whole point of Christmas is being able to sit on your couch with some hot cocoa, a Christmas movie on the TV and a bunch a bunch of cozy blankets just to cuddle up with your significant other or your kids or your dogs or whoever you want so I do think that cozy blankets and pillows make a difference during Christmas so that is my main focus right now at least I didn't put up my Christmas tree the same day so I just wanted to focus on getting everything tidied up and putting my pillows and my blankets on.
Alrighty, you guys, so over here on this shelf, I wanted to go ahead and display my birdhouse that I got. So I thought a really cute way was kind of to make it like a little village house. So I added these cute little salt and pepper shakers. Um, there are Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And then up at top, I just put my coffee, sugar, and tea canisters and some greenery. And I think this came out really simple, but still very cute. And then I moved on over to this countertop and I went ahead and I cleaned the countertop first and the stove first. So I just kind of used Comet here and some Windex with vinegar and that's what I used to clean it down. But then I went ahead and I started decorating after I made sure it was clean. Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake and then we go Okay and to start off decorating I did pull up my Hobby Lobby shelf that I showed you guys in my haul and this is where I'm displaying my Santa's cookies and this is basically what inspired this whole little area. I wanted to make it an actual coffee and hot cocoa area so I'm adding this Mexican hot chocolate to my cocoa canister and I will be baking some cookies to add into my Santa's cookies and then I added the little milk and in this Mary container, I told you guys I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it because it is like a bathroom container, but I decided to add some marshmallows for our hot cocoa, and I just put this Ziploc bag in it and added the marshmallows, and this is just so the marshmallows don't get super hard. I went ahead and closed the Ziploc bag and then put the lid over it, and this keeps the marshmallows from going hard. And then I went ahead and added one of the little mug ornaments. I told you guys I wouldn't use them on my tree, so I did decide to use one here. And then I decided to move on to the other corner while I kind of kept playing creatively on what I was going to do with the rest of that two-tier tray shelf. So I moved on to this corner and I put this cutting board here and I just added my new Merry Christmas crock and just put the utensils back in there. Then I added this Merry Christmas sign and my Ray Dunn napkin holder and I feel like this is a very simple but cute corner. And then moving back to the two-tiered shelf, I went ahead and I added some candy canes to the milk pitcher. And then down below, I added three little containers I got last year before I started collecting Ray Dunn. These three containers were what I used for my coffee, sugar, and cream. So I went ahead and filled them up and then just put them down here. And then I got these really cute measuring spoons from Hobby Lobby. They're just shaped in like Santa, a cute penguin, and a reindeer, and a snowman. And I added it to the tiny mug. And this is how it came out. I really think it came out really cute and I love it. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. And after cleaning off my island, this is another surface that I decided to keep a decorations at a minimum. So I just added a cute little present that I got last year from Hobby Lobby. And I did see them this year. Um, I just saw like the smaller form. I'm not sure if this exact size came out this year. And then I just added my DW candle I got at Home Goods, and I lit it, and that was it for this counter. It came out really simple again, and it, I just think it looks cute, and all the colors tie in with my theme and everything around it. And then this year, Jonathan, my husband, did buy me a new Christmas tree and I wasn't too sure about it. I They didn't have it on display, so I kind of just went off the picture, but uh, we went with our gut and we got it and I ended up loving it, you guys. It's so much bigger than the one we had last year and it's so full and 
I just really liked it. It was not what I expected. But that is everything for this video, you guys. I went ahead and I left the decoration for another day. So join me for that video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, you guys, I'm really excited for the following videos. So make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.